We are with Bill Brummel, who is the director of Erasing Hate. Extreme violence is a great way to make a name for yourself in the skinhead subculture. There's so many layers to this movie, and what a great subject matter you had. How did this all come about? This came about because um, I have a working relationship with the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a nonprofit civil rights organization in Alabama. They track hate groups and fight them in court. When you get in the movement, you alienate everyone you know. I'd see some of my brothers kick the crap out of their old ladies. We are both in there just kind of hanging on by a string. We've done a lot of films on people in the white power clan members and stuff, and most of them can't carry a film. Most of them, you know, are, are pretty much unable to express themselves. So this was a real find. He's such an interesting character and articulate. And he was just so sincere about wanting to change his life. The president of the club called me up and said I had to make a choice between either my family or them. Well, I know he received a lot of threats whenever he got out of the movement and still is receiving threats. Is, it, is that why he's not here tonight? He left Nashville because of threats. There was, a short, there was a short version of this that aired on MSNBC in June. And um, after that, um, threats started coming in fast. And we knew they were, we were prepared. We knew that that was going to happen. Um, so the morning after the show aired on MSNBC, he and his family were gone. Did you get a scar on your face and head? I was a little intimidated by both of them. The coming off is frequently more painful than the going on. As Brian says in the film, the only way really out is prison or the grave. Um, so it, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to keep these young kids from getting in. And he wanted to show folks who are in the movement already that there is a way out. Because most of them, even if they're, if they're feeling like they want to get out, they feel like they can't because of the, the, the threats that will happen, because of the peer pressure. And so many of these kids who are in the movement, you know, they join because um, they don't feel like they have a family, you know, they have a bad family life. They might be out living on the streets. And these gangs, just like any gangs, will take them in and let them give them this false sense of family, of brotherhood. That's how Brian got in. That's how most folks get in.